Hey guys, so this is the static dumbbell lunge, and the reason we're doing this one, as opposed to any other variation, is that it's a good starting point that's a little bit simpler. You may have seen people do things like stepping lunges or walking lunges, things like the alternating step back lunge when I go here, come up, and use my other foot. And those are great, or walking lunges, um, but they're a little bit harder to learn. They're a little less stable. They take a little more balance and coordination. So this gives us a lot of the benefits of training the lunge pattern. Single leg strength, some balance, stretching the hip flexors, but it's a little bit easier to start. So when you get into this position, you want to have your front foot be the main focus of pushing up and using that leg to move most of the weight. The back leg is obviously going to help but I want you to try to focus on the front leg doing most of the work. The front leg, we are gonna have even pressure through the entire foot, try not to let the heel come up. The back foot has to be on the ball of the foot. Um, both knees are gonna bend. How far you go down on this, I wanna stress this point, is up to you. Depth is something that we want to increase over time as you get stronger, as you get more flexible, but don't uh, force yourself to go all the way down especially if you can't control it. I recommend using um, a mat or a pad under the knee when you start this because it's difficult sometimes to gauge your distance and you might bounce your knee off the ground and that's not gonna feel good. So be careful with how far you go down, make sure you can control it. So starting out on your lunges, if you're new to them and going down to here and back up, totally okay. Over time, we wanna get to that full range where we get the back knee to Lightly touch or just almost touch the ground and then come up because that challenges our muscles to a much higher degree and works on our flexibility more as well. So when you're starting out, recommend light weight or you could even start with no weight in your first couple sets or even couple workouts and then slowly add weight over time. Uh, when you do this, Think about good posture. If you want to use this the way that I'm doing it, which is more of a quad focus, as opposed to back of the leg focus, hamstring, then we want to stay upright. A lunge variation that looks more like this isn't wrong, it's just gonna work more in the back of the legs, like a deadlift. This one we want to stay up, and that way you are going to focus on the muscle right here, and on the back leg as well. So keep your shoulders over your hips as much as you can and as you drive up, staying nice and upright. Inhale down, exhale and push. Inhale down, exhale and push. Keeping the core nice and tight. When you set up your stance, you wanna have your feet about hip width, maybe shoulder width, we don't want to be too wide because then the knees are going to be doing funny things, drifting in. But we don't want to be on a tightrope either because this is going to be very difficult to balance. Could be potentially dangerous when you have weights in your hands. So we want some width there just for balance. And the knees are going to track over the ankles in line with the hips, like so. Give it a shot, guys. That is our static dumbbell lunge. Hope you like it. It's a great builder of the legs. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Hi, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. If you would like to learn how to put this information into a program where you can work on improving your endurance and energy while burning fat using nothing but a couple of dumbbells, I'm working on a new ebook that's going to come out next month, May of 2022. And if you go to my website, everythingbutthegym.com, it'll be there in the shop. And if you sign up for my newsletter, also you can do that on my website. You'll be notified as soon as it's ready. And also I give out tips and tricks and nutrition information through my newsletter, only the best stuff. So go to everythingbutthegym.com and you can find it there. Thanks again.